So just having built my own PC, I'm continually blown away by how much RAM impacts performance. So quadrupling my memory has led to a way more snappy experience and even faster rendering times. But what I want to know is based on my experience, how much ma- my But what I want to know based on my experience is how much RAM would I deem necessary for a proper video editing computer. Hey what's up guys, my name is Andrew, and today I will be shedding some light on one simple question. How much RAM do you really need for video editing? So before I jump right in, it's pretty important for you to know just where it is I'm coming from. So before I got my new computer, my old system consisted of a laptop with some pretty subpar specs for the editing that I was doing. With a 2.5 GHz dual core i3, 4 gigs of RAM, Intel HD graphics, and a 720p display, made the editing experience one that was sometimes a big pain. Now ever since buying the new computer, I really have been a witness to how much more power RAM can bring to the table. So for example, when I'm rendering a 1080p video in Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2015, my RAM usage caps out at just above 11 gigabytes. But here's the thing, that old system with those old specs worked. I was able to build a really strong presence on YouTube, I created many different 3D animations and different softwares like Blender, and I even played some video games for the better part of the last five years. So I guess I could say that all you really need is what you can get your hands on. So through all the research I did, I kept hearing over and over again that 32 gigabytes was some kind of minimum requirement, but is that actually true? Well, post my new computer build and thus quadrupling my memory, I think I've come to a pretty reasonable conclusion. I am no professional. That is the one thing that I want to get across, because for me, apart from YouTube, I have no deadlines, no business deals, and no income that's dependent on my ability to output videos. So on account of this, I think it's reasonably safe to say that the amount of RAM you need just depends on the performance that you need. So if you're a professional in the business who literally has no time for technical bottlenecks, then sure, get as much RAM as will fit on your motherboard. But if you're a content creator who has a passion and a drive to produce videos, sure the 16 gigabyte spot may be the sweet spot for most systems, but don't let your specs get in the way of what you really want to do. So that's it. Now, I want to get something across that I am not claiming to know everything, because I certainly don't. I've only had this new computer for maybe about a month now, and although I have had quite a bit of experience in Premiere Pro, I still have tons more testing, tons more benchmarking, so much more to do with regards to RAM and memory and how it all works, but for now, this is where I stand. But the real message here is don't let your computer or your specs or your equipment get in the way of what you really want to do on YouTube. So for the longest time, I always thought that I couldn't start YouTube, I couldn't start a film, I couldn't start a project until I had a better computer, a better camera, a better lens, more lights, whatever. I was always limiting myself to what my gear would allow me to do. So whether or not you're editing on 4 gigs of RAM or 64 gigs of RAM, it really all comes down to your content and what you want to do. Well, that's all for this video. If you like this content, then I would encourage you to check out some of my others. Also, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. But anyway guys, my name is Andrew, and until next time, thank you for watching.